Hi everybody, welcome to Come Eat with Aggie. Oh my goodness, I'm back. Hey. I'm back, guys, I'm back. Okay, so let me tell y'all. Kim had recorded this awesome intro video, right? It deleted. So that's why I'm recording it now. You won't see me go into the first steps of cooking this, but I already prepared everything beforehand in the, uh, in the other intro video, so it's fine, no worries. Um, what we're cooking today, shrimp and grits. So a lot of people were like, oh my God, those grits were so cute and amazing and they were so good. Can you show us what the recipe is? And I'm gonna show y'all today, super easy. Grits, salt your water first. Don't be trying to salt them grits afterwards, um, but salt your water. Cook according to the package. That's the best way you're gonna have them grits turn out right, y'all. Follow the directions on the package, okay? Um, add butter. I added uh, gouda, mustard cheese, and a white cheddar. And then I just creamed it with a little milk or a heavy whipping cream, whatever you got. Um, so they came out very creamy. It looks amazing. Um, the shrimp. I just uh, seasoned with Old Bay seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little lemon pepper. That was it. Y'all know I don't measure. I'm going to try to do my best to put the measurements below, but you season to taste, okay? Uh, and then I kind of showed you guys. I got some video of me cooking the shrimp as well as plating the dish. Um, but that's what we cooking today. Just want to give a little another intro since my first video deleted. Second and most importantly, come eat with Aggie, www.comeeatwithaggie.com, up, live, and running. I'm adding new product, but I still got my book there. So go there. It's got some cute and amazing recipes. It's good. It's doing well. So proud of myself. Uh, pat on the back. But if you're new to the channel, welcome all my people that still um, subscribe to my channel and still follow me on Instagram. Thank you. Love you. Um, I'll have all of my followings, apps, everything on uh, the description box below and the recipe description box below. So it was fun cooking it. I appreciate Cam for recording it. Thank you, Cam. He's so amazing. Um, but now let's go into the video where it caught me cooking the food. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for the love and support. Let's get to cooking. So that went out. Uh, the camera went out. I'm in the process of getting a new camera, so um, I'm recording all of this on my phone. So that's why I gotta make it quick. Cause iPhone be trying to get you, they be trying to make you pay for extra storage, and you're all like, what? No, iPhone, that's what we're not doing. So, We'll let them cook. All right, so I wiped clean my pan, and I'm gonna turn this up as high as I can. Get it? Um, and I'm gonna add just a little bit more Cajun seasoning. I don't need any more garlic powder. I'm done with Soy sauce and butter. I am like a neat freak when it comes to cooking. Everything is clean. Um, so that's hot. And I just want to brown the shrimp. I'm trying to not put all the liquid in there. And I'm going to add my garlic. Because I don't want it to burn. People say, why you why you don't cook your garlic when I don't want it to burn? So all right. Say the juice though. Yeah. 
So I'm actually gonna plate this in a bowl. Plate this in a bowl. This is a little white bowl. Cute. Simple. I don't know if this copper pan is going to brown and shrimp like I want them to, but I don't want to cook them any longer than what I have. Tomato. I'm going to take the seeds out. Because I'm not trying to make tomato soup. I just want it as a garnish. This is just a garnish. You can omit this if you like. Or you can keep it on. You can put it on. I'm trying to tell y'all with that tomato, this tomato and the green onion and the shrimp and grits. Oh, and hit that cheese, baby. I think that's what made everybody go crazy. It's because shrimp and grits with the green onion. The grits with the green onion. Everybody was like, I don't want that. No, try it the way that I'm telling you to try. All right. All right, you see how brown it got? That's what I'm looking for. Let me taste one. Mm. So good. All right. That is pretty much done. Now it's time for plating. See, I told y'all it was going to be super easy and super quick. Season how you want to season your shrimp. You don't have to season the way that I season. But I tell y'all, I will never leave you stray. I won't. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna add just a little spinach. Like I said, this is the this is the point where Agatha never has enough on her plate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scoop this to the side and just wilt this spinach down. Yeah, baby. Okay. Let's wilt this spinach down. Um, I'm not going to too much season it because the pan is already seasoned enough for me. But if you want, you know, you can add, you know, whatever to your spinach, whatever you like. doesn't matter. That's it, guys. That's it. So, get my grits. Now, everybody say fork grits or spoon grits. I'm a spoon grit girl. I do not like my grits. Um, fork tender, as they call it. I don't. I'm sorry. But you cook your grits how you want to cook your grits. However you like your grits. The purpose of me showing you how to do this, guys, is for it's not for this is not the formula. This is basically how you want to cook. However you like to eat, that's how you cook. So I'll take some grits. And what I do is I love white grits. You can use yellow grits. You can use whatever grits you want. But these grits, it's a lot of them now. But this was only a cup, a cup of grits. And then it, it's, it's kind of like rice. And the brown specks is just the cheese from the Gouda. Nothing more. Nothing less. So I'm going to cover that bottom of that bowl with them grits. Oh, that's so pretty! 
And then I'm going to put a little spinach in the middle. Show you guys how I plate it. Take the spinach, kind of put it in the middle. Yep. Messing up my plate in spinach. Don't do me like that. All right. Take the shrimp, pile it high. A lot of people like the liquid, so guess what I did? I told y'all I saved it. I saved it. Um, I want a little bit of them onions and garlic and stuff. See if I can get it. This is my plate, guys. Okay. I'm not serving this today. Ain't nobody over here but me and my kids. Um, but yeah. So yeah. Okay. Now, remove my shrimp off because I don't want them to overcook. Okay. A little tomato. I'll tell y'all, you better try the tomato on it. A little scallion. See, Agatha, that's too much. Mm -mm. Never too much. A little parsley. Crack with pepper. And there you have it. Shrimp and grits, guys. Super easy, super fun, super duper duper um, delicious. Um, but yeah, don't forget, come eat with Aggie over there. Website below. Recipe is going to be below. I done told y'all that I don't measure when I, as you can see, I didn't measure anything. Um, so I'm going to try my best to give you the measurements for those that need them. Um, but, guys, this is so pretty. You can serve this for your breakfast or, or you can serve this at a dinner party. Um, that's what I would love to have as a dinner party. And just serve like simple comfort foods. These grits gonna be good. Um, but yeah, guys. So I'm back on the camera. Shrimp and grits, super fun, super easy. I mean, it smells so good. Um, don't forget, order my book. Come eat with Aggie. Website's gonna be below. The menu, I mean, the recipe's gonna be below. I'm about to go eat. Uh, my taster, which was my daughter, she don't like grits or cheese. So she can't try it, but I'm going to bring Cam in to see if he wants to try it. But not out this bowl, because I got to take a picture of this bowl. Uh, so hold on. Come on, Cam. I want to taste this. So I got Soraya to try it. She's going to try it. You want to try it? Okay, we'll let you try it. It's got a tail on it. On the shrimp. Look at her face. 